Chevrolet made the lone presentation for General Motors with the reintroduction of the Colorado midsize pickup truck. Initially, it will come with a gasoline version, and a diesel power plant is promised for the model year 2015. Ford is promising some serious technical upgrades to the Edge for 2015 as it reworks the small crossover, which finds itself in a very competitive segment. Subaru is going all in with a reworked version of the WRX sedan. What started as an off-road racing platform is getting ready to graduate to a serious track contender. And speaking of off-road, Land Rover is delivering an extended version of the Pinnacle Range Rover with the Autobiography Edition. Third row passengers will have enough room to stretch out while riding over nearly any kind of terrain. Meanwhile, corporate sibling Jaguar took a logical step introducing a coupe's version of the F-Series two-seater. James Bond would be proud. Porsche has come up with a blend of crossover and sports car with the Macan and turbo-powered Macan S. Performance for as many as four passengers, if you want. Kia continues to grow the size of its platform. The company has opted to literally go big with the K900, a full-size luxury sedan to retain brand loyalists with an additional platform to step up to. For Nissan, it was all about performance and what better way to show the company's fastest car than have Usain Bolt, the world's fastest man, do the honors with the Nismo version of the GTR Sport Coupe. If you can't quite afford the GTR, then a Nismo Sentra may be a little more attainable while still a pavement burner. The somewhat cheeky folks at Mini have come up with another twist on the base platform, a hardtop version of the Cooper and Cooper S, a mobile demonstration of attitude and aptitude. At the Mercedes stand, Los Angeles was the setting to roll out the latest from AMG, the S65 sedan, with enough torque to change the most jaded driver's view of luxury performance. The company also introduced the GLA, a crossover trying to capture a piece of that segment. And Maserati went visceral, rolling out the Ghibli. It's a smaller sedan than the Quattroporte and is powered by a choice of two twin turbo V6 engines and an 8 speed transmission. This is Greg Mars. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.